Hi everybody, thank you for joining Sandra's Art Studio. Today we have a fun project and I can't wait to show you. I can't wait for you guys to do it because it turns out that with art, you can actually release and let go of some emotions that are not serving you well, okay? And we actually play the tape or we regurgitate, we speak of certain things, certain events that had happened to us over and over and over again and we're tired of it. And we don't understand why is it that this is showing up in my life. You know, it could be in the form of like you have friends, you're really tight, and then you feel like they backstab you or something. And that could be a pattern in your life that you just want to get rid of. Or it could be with the husband or the boyfriend, or it could be a business. You know, you have certain ideas and you apply yourself, you go all the way in, and then it just doesn't happen the way you want it to happen and you're done with it, you're tired of that experience. So now we're going to just release all of this negative energy that we've been keeping to ourselves and we're going to do it with art. Yes, we're gonna do it with art. You don't have to be an artist in order to do this. You can do scribble scrabbles like a child. Check this out, just like that. Super easy, anybody can do it. And we can set our intentions into art. But anyway, today's episode is all about releasing negative energy that is actually blocking us, okay? We're going to let go of that pattern that we don't need in our life anymore. So ready to join me? All right, let's go. Let's start with the material and what we need for this project is some Prisma colors or any kind of marker that is not going to run when you get it wet. If you are going to use watercolors, in this case, I am using watercolors, but you can use color pencils and a pad of paper. This uh, paper here is mixed media type of paper which it can handle a little bit of the wetness, right? Not too much. This will disintegrate if you get it too, too wet. We have our clean pad of paper. I put some tape to mark where I don't want my pad of paper to go past. And this is another point. You want to keep your pad of paper still in the same position. Don't move your pad of paper around so it makes it more comfortable for you to draw. You actually want to be in a slightly uncomfortable position when you're doing this project because that will actually hold your attention. Before you start this project, make sure you have the time to complete it and don't allow anybody or anything like your phone interrupt your session. This project is for you to relax while you're doing it. So if you need some soothing music in the background, that would be great. And it's best if you stop this video for five minutes and relax, take some nice deep breaths, focus on your breath if you need to help clear your mind. So you've done this for a little bit and now you can think about what is it that you want to let go. Think about that intention, whatever it is that has been holding you back. We're going to put it on paper. This paper actually represents the feel of possibilities and you're going to dedicate about 20 seconds to do a quick scribble scrabble on your paper and it's going to look something like this. Now with this release on paper, this is the representation of what we no longer want in our life. And we're going to transform this. We're going to change this around. How? By rounding up the corners of every sharp edge. What these pointy corners in our scribble represent is sharp ends, sharp points, kind of like a knife, like a thorn. And by rounding up these corners, we are going to make this friendly and harmonious. We are going to make this peaceful instead of chaotic. So we're transforming the idea, the concept that we put on our paper, which is the feel of all possibilities and probabilities. And we are turning it from something sharp and threatening to something friendly where we are making peace with this and we are letting it go. We're allowing it to just disappear from our lives. And if this is something that you need to do, a few times, then do it. As adults, we tend to guard ourselves a little bit more than children. Children are a lot more open to new concepts and ideas because they are learning, right? They're in the process of learning. As to we, as grown-ups, have more tendencies to hold on to negative emotions that have not served us well. And sometimes we need to do this release for a little longer, do it several times, and that is okay. Next week, I will have um, a video on how we can replace these negative emotions with something positive. 
And what is funny, what we are doing, and it's fascinating to me, is we are like communicating to our subconscious in a nonverbal way with art, colors, and textures. So what's happening here is kind of like hypnosis, where there's no secretary at the moment in your mind guarding the new concept and ideas to come into your head, right? Because normally uh, with communication, we are thinking, uh, yes, I want to accept this concept or no, I don't want to accept this concept. But with art, you're not getting that type of communication happening. So this is a more direct way of communicating to your subconscious. Once you're done rounding all the corners, you want to do some releasing lines and you want to extend these releasing lines all the way to the edge of your paper and try to crisscross them as much as you can. And you're going to round the corners again. So the busier it is, the better it is, because you can dedicate a lot of time onto releasing this negative emotion, this negative energy, and you're also transforming it into something else. And when I say you're changing and transforming this into something else, what does that really mean? That means that you're changing in a very sneaky way the association that you have with this bad energy, this bad concept, this negative situation that you want to release and let go. Once you're done rounding all the corners of your image, you want to pick four colors, keep it simple, and go from the center to the outer edges. And you want to not just color one cell or two cells, but you want to color a group of cells. And it's okay if you go over the lines because the idea here is that you want to integrate the whole concept and move it out. In my case, I am using these watercolor pencils. So the last thing I want to do after I'm done coloring my project is to run my wet uh, paintbrush across so I can blend these colors a little bit better. And remember that if you go over, it's not a big deal because it's all about integration. And the last thing I do, because my paper now is soaking wet, is I blot it with paper towel so that way it dries a little faster and it doesn't wrinkle up so fast. If you have watercolor paper, you're not going to have this issue. But I had mixed media paper and it does wrinkle up. And then I leave it upside down for a little while so the paper straightens out. And last thing I want to do is write down on the back of this what is the date and what is the intention, what is it that I'm letting go, and check back with it in six months and see how you did. If you found this content to be useful, please give me a like, subscribe, and hit the notifications. That is how we advance here in YouTube world. So I appreciate you guys joining me. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.